So this is the Taxstar SGC598 uh, recording microphone. And this is the box that it comes in. It's quite a nice box. Uh, you get a velvet uh, Taxstar logoed uh, cover to keep your microphone in. And inside there's lots of foam and that's where your basically your microphone would go in one piece. You'll find some extra rubber clips inside uh, as spares just in case you lose them. So that's what you get in the box. Inside you'll also find uh, an instruction manual also with various details about how the microphone works and the settings and how to care for it. There's a frequency response graph in there and this detail is also about the functions. Let's look at the microphone specifications. The uh, frequency response is 50 hertz to 16 kilohertz. Sensitivity uh, minus 32 dBs plus or minus 3. Uh, sensitivity tone up to uh, plus 10 dBs and with a bass filter at 10 dBs. And the output impedance is 2000 uh, plus or minus 30 percent and it's powered by a 1.5 volt single AA battery and the item weight is 154 grams. Now onto the mic features. Uh, it's a specially designed high sensitivity condenser microphone in order to enhance the quality of the recording. It's got a heart shaped single point pickup that effectively reduces the noise of the surrounding environment. And there's the 10 dB sensitivity enhancement and the 200 Hertz uh, low frequency attenuation setting. It has a shock resistant structural design uh, that's been made to reduce the mechanical noise of the camera and other vibration noise. It's also sturdy and solid and it can effectively shield electromagnetic interference. This is the microphone itself. I'd previously been using uh, the inbuilt microphones uh, for recording in things such as tablets, mobile phones and DSLR cameras but I was finding that the the recordings, the voice recordings just weren't good enough. So I decided to go for an external microphone. This one obviously will fit on top of uh, an SLR camera via the hot shoe. And then you can tighten it down with the screw on the bottom. But there's also a tripod thread on the bottom here. So you can put it on a microphone stand as well. And I have mine on a microphone stand above my head um, I don't talk directly into the microphone because I did find I was getting the odd kind of pop sound. Um, so I either have it below me or above me on the microphone stand. The microphone has these rubber uh, grommets on the bottom to absorb any kind of movement of the microphone. You can slide off the uh, weather shield here as well to reveal the microphone itself and that just slides back on again. And if we turn it over, you can see the 3.5mm uh, gold jack on a kind of a springy curled uh, lead, which is fine, uh, good length if you're putting it straight on top of an SLR camera and plugging it in. But if you're putting it on top of a microphone stand or, or anything else, then you'll need to buy yourself an extension cable, possibly two, three metres, a 3.5mm extension cable like I have. Uh, details of uh, where to find those are in the description below. And then the unit itself takes a single AA battery and that battery is said to last for around 100 hours and I've had it since 2018 this microphone I've not changed the battery yet. On the other side you've got the uh, three buttons. The first button is the uh, bass boost and I have that set in the up position. And the second one is the dB gain, the 10 dB gain in the up position. Again, I don't have it on. Uh, normally what I do is I record it with it off, but then up my recordings by 10 to 14 dB is actually in my video editor afterwards. And finally, there's the on off switch. Uh, remember to turn it on for recording. And once you turn it on, then you'll see the green light illuminate on the back. And then when it's off, the green light will go out. Lengthwise, this is coming in about 23 centimeters, kind of nine inches long. 
the top section is a bit less about 22 centimeters or sort of eight and a half inches long and width wise if you really want to know it's kind of about three centimeters wide Overall, it's a great microphone. Um, I'm using it right now, and I've used it for most of my videos uh, since 2018. I've also used it on live meetings and things for, say, Skype or Teams and things like that. And I can see why a lot of people recommend it online. And now I've had it myself for a couple of years and used it, I can also recommend it. It's not overly expensive. It's around kind of 30 English pounds. I purchased this from Amazon UK and I've put links in the description below if you want to go and have a look at it. I hope you liked the video. Uh, give us a like if you did and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, especially if you like technology related videos. Thanks a lot. See you soon.